What's up guys, this is Pastor Canary again, we're coming up with another video, another, we'll try to make it short, but usually it doesn't happen, but anyway, so we're going to continue working with directories in C Sharp, and yeah, so now we're going to be, like yesterday, I think I made a video where you can get all the files, and now we're going to add a time, a time frame, yeah, we want to get all the files from the last 24 hours, okay, so I got my, uh, folder right here it's going to be my desktop I have like a bunch of files right here since the year 2021 you know and the most recent one I made a copy of the results that was I, I think I created that on, on January the 2nd and I did a copy because I want to get the the file all the files from the last 24 hours which is going to be only one which is results copy that text okay and for that we're going to be using um, just a 24 hour so let me get a path let's copy that path right here and let's let's start it but before we we start please uh, subscribe to the channel so we we're growing slowly by steady so we can continue putting more videos and stuff all right all right so we are going to do a variable right here bar we're going to put uh, the name path and this is where the path is going to go we're going to do the add symbol right here and then we just copy the path that we have so that's where my path is going to be we're going to get all the files from the desktop and now we're going to do another variable by the name bar directory and then equals equals to new new directory director directory info and then we're going to do we're we're going to do at the pass pass the path right here and in semicolon i think it doesn't like let's see potential fixes we're going to be using system.io and that should fix that issue right there and now next we're gonna do the daytime type uh, we're going to do from date uh, equals day uh, daytime got it right there that now that at right here we have a lot of different options we, you can do a uh, days we can do a uh, second minutes uh, hours a month and even a uh, years you know but now we're going to use hours and we're going to do it for the last 24. We're going to go all the files from the last 24 hours and now from date and now we gotta do it again for date time uh, we're going to do to date to date equals to date time that now so which is going to be to now Okay, there is there is a start date. I think uh, it starts from, and, and the one thing about C sharp when you do twenty four hours, it starts midnight, all the way to today. You know, uh, twelve. I think it's eleven fifty nine fifty nine uh, p.m. Okay. All right, so let's see what else do we have to do. Let's just finish with the semicolon. And now, so we're going to do a bar file, files equals to uh, directory, directory that uh, get files. We're going to use the get files function or method. And then right here, we're going to use the how you say lam lambda lambda expression right here where right here we're going to use the file use the lambda operator right here and we're going to use file that we're going to use this property is called last last write time so what does write like write time does uh, it will give us all the file that we uh, change updated on the last 24 hours okay um we got that now 
we're going to pass from the date and let's just do right here file that oh man we don't it's lowercase file oh come on wait what is what the well that last last write time last write time and then we're going to pass right here to date okay finish with semicolon okay cool so so it doesn't like my where let's see what I'm missing right here show potential fixes using yeah using system link that's what we need that should work uh, let's see file what's not oh it's file no files see it's only file okay and that should fix that hopefully well it didn't maybe let's just go back So let's see why it's not like in a file and percent file that last oh okay it's file let's see why it goes okay that's why okay now I fixed it okay cool now we're good to go you always gotta debug on this. Um, now we gotta do a for each. Open and closing parentheses, and then we're going to do a open and curly brackets, and then we're going to say a bar file in files. Okay, and right here, what we need to get be done we're going to do a console that right line and here we're going to pass file okay semicolon and let's see what we have so this is supposed to give us only one file and let's see the program works crossing my fingers yeah it give us one file so this is the file right here this is the copy results copy that txt right that's the only file that I have for the last 24 hours and we can just do it that name so we only can get just uh, just the name start getting all the information yeah we just got a results copy that text so and that's what we have that's for today if we do it for the week so let's see uh, let's see what we have a uh, week minutes days where is it year second month minute I think it only gives you days. I think it was a week one. Week of years, month. Should we get it for the month? Let's do that. We just want one month. Okay, should give us a few files. I think it's called days of week, I think it's called. Where are you? Do you ever run the program? Okay. Okay, it gave us two files for the month. Let's see. So it will be January, uh, you know, all December. Do I have December? There is one right here in December. 
No. <clears throat> yeah, 112. By starting from, it would be for the last month, it would be from December the 4th to now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have another one. Let's see. We got a two. Yeah, I don't have any files for. Should we just do a year? Let's see. A month. Year is that years? Yeah, years. Let's see how many we're going to get. One year. Yeah. That's all the files that we have for the year. Cool. So that program worked. So that's pretty good. So, all right. So that was all the video, guys. So hopefully you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel just to keep putting more videos in, in C Sharp. All right. Have a good night. And I will see you in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.